Hi, I'm Chris Brathlink, Director of Chalk Hill Blue, the award-winning business and executive coaching firm. Today's Transformation Masterclass is our first in a series focusing on leadership and how to build true leadership capabilities within an organisation. A few weeks back I was talking with a client. As this business owner described his woes to me about how he was struggling with poor leadership skills, he described the performance of some of his leaders by saying, with some of our managers, I swear our employees only follow them out of curiosity. The lack of leadership skills and inability to engender respect and overall poor performance was killing his profits. Unfortunately, while his way of describing his leaders was a novel one, the existence of poor leadership is anything but a novelty. As a business leader myself for the past 25 years, I've witnessed more ineffective leadership examples than I care to remember and nothing impacts the overall health of the organisation more negatively than bad leadership. In all those years, however, I've also noticed a significant trend among companies where leadership is simply not an issue. Over and over again, those leaders who elicit the best from their direct reports, who achieve higher performance objectives, who have lower turnover, and whose companies grow more, all share some basic natural talents for leadership. They all share competencies that the underperforming leaders simply do not possess. The most commonly occurring of these competencies are their ability to envision an outcome, to think conceptually and see the big picture, their ability to understand others. Often called emotional intelligence, this is the ability to accurately understand those being led. They inspire others by effectively communicating the company vision and achieving buy-in. They understand themselves and they possess the ability to objectively understand their own strengths and weaknesses. Now, while many assume that these are traits that can be taught or acquired, in reality, research has proven that for the most part, they're based on a person's natural ability and personality. Most organizations struggle because they fail to measure these talents. These traits remain intangible, and therefore, since we can't see them, we can't manage them, and they don't get factored into the leadership equation. There's an old quote that goes, hire for hard skills, fire for soft skills. Basically, this means that we often hire people based on the tangible hard skills, like experience, resume, CV, education, etc. Conversely, we often have to fire people because they do not possess the intangible soft traits that so significantly drive performance as a leader. The most successful companies do a much better job of making these intangible traits tangible, visible and quantified, and use this knowledge in hiring and developmental scenarios. The results of this, human turnover goes down, productivity goes up and overall profitability increases. Thanks again for watching today. If you've liked what you've heard, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our content and follow us on our various social media channels. Similarly, if you'd like to learn more about how we help ambitious organisations and business owners improve their leadership skills, please contact us on the number or email address coming up now.